So, um, I thought I would do kind of like a haul video because um, I've been kind of like uh, getting quite a lot of stuff um, this past month, uh, month and a bit. And um, yeah, it was requested by quite a lot of people that I do a haul video like every now and then. So um, I thought today would be a good day. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have another video up by like Saturday or it might be after I come back from holiday because um, I'm off on Sunday morning and I won't be back till the 7th of April. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do another video after this or um, the video after this would be um, my holiday video, like what I did on a holiday, etc. And um, yeah, what I got up to. Um, and yeah, so I'll be trying to like vlog and stuff, but I'm not sure about the internet situation if I will have internet in my hotel room or not. But if I do, I will upload bits and pieces, and if I don't, then I'll do like a big video um, when I come back. And um, yeah, so this is my whole video. Um, for people who don't like these videos, um, please just don't watch this or leave negative comments. Um, but yeah, if you do like these these kind of videos, um, all of the stuff that I've bought or been given, etc., um, it's been over. I think about a month or a month and a bit. Um, there are some other stuff as well, but they are either in the wash, or they're in my suitcase packed, or I just kind of felt a bit awkward showing you, like, I went kind of mad and brought a whole, like, just loads of underwear and socks, and um, I, f I feel kind of a bit weird if I kind of just, like, show you my underwear, so, um, yeah, uh, I guess we can just, let's get started. Okay, so um, I should start off by, mm, I don't know, uh, shoes I guess. Um, yeah, I've been kind of buying a lot of shoes lately. Um, I'm hoping to get like a few more pairs of trainers and stuff as well. But um, yeah, this these are what I got this month and last month I guess. Um, but my most recent pair I got are these. Juju jellies, and you probably remember these from being a kid in the 90s. And um, yeah, I didn't know that they were actually made in England. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start a Juju jelly collection, and they'll be on my um, bookcase. And um, yeah, they, I love these so much. I got the ones with the heel, um, uh, they are so comfortable. And I'm taking these on holiday with me. I think I might actually wear them on the plane. So, um, yeah. Uh, these are size 5 and I got these um, from ASOS because ASOS is now starting to do them. And they do different colours. Um, they do one without the heel. They do like a pair of flats that are Juju Jellies. Um, they do quite a lot actually. But I really want to get like a clear glitter pair. Um, Next time I order one. Uh, next reason are these babies, which are pair of flats, basic flats, because I need like flats like these, and um, I haven't had them. And I went around to like Topshop, H and M, Primark, and none of them like like were like wow, I need to get these kind of thing. And plus they're flats, they're very simple. So I thought. I look at eBay. Um, I typed in studded loafers, and these came up for six pounds ninety nine, I think, which is amazing because these look like Hellraisers, and um, I was going to order the Hellraiser knockoffs, which were I think forty pounds on eBay, but um, I found the seller, and they sold them for six pounds ninety nine, free postage and packaging. And they came really quick, so um, yeah, I'll put the link to these like uh, below. And um, yeah, I got these in a size four actually. Yeah, these size four, and um, 
yeah, they're very comfortable. You have to like be careful when you wear like um, trousers rolled up because the spikes will hit your ankle when you walk and it hurts like a bitch. Um, but yeah, these are really good for seven pounds. Uh, the pair of shoes I got are these uh, H and M boots uh, with the chunky heel. Um, I wanted boots with a big chunky heel for ages. Um, I wanted the I think Baker Bond ones, and um, yeah, they were rather expensive. I think like seventy or eighty pounds. And um, I'm, I wanted these ones from H&M for ages, but they were like always sold out in my size. And the other day, they restocked them in my size, and uh, I ordered these. And these were like $29.99, but H&M sent me a discount, and I used that, and it took it down to like £22 or something like that. Um, but yeah, if you join up the H&M mailing list... Um, they normally send you like promotional codes to use online etc so yeah these uh, have not really worn these out yet which I should do um, yeah that's kind of all for my shoes at the moment okay uh, moving on to clothing um, I got these gorgeous pair of um, Top shop trousers, they're tailored uh, cigarette trousers, and I've been wanting to pair like these cigarette trousers for ages, and um, I finally went and bought a pair. These, it's kind of like a white lace texture, and I got these in a size six, not from the petite section, um, and they, yeah, they just come above my ankle, and they fit me really well. Um, I haven't worn these out yet because I have nowhere like to wear them out. But um I yeah. I pair these with like a white blouse and my white blazer which I'll show you in a minute. And um yeah, it looks really cool. And I think these were like forty two pounds from Topshop, if I can remember correctly. Um so yeah, this is my white blazer that I got recently. Um uh, it's like a tailored blazer, there's no buttons. But it's a very nice fit on me and it's kind of hugging as well uh, this one is size 8 I think I think it's size 8 it's a US size 4 so it might be size 6 I don't know um, but yeah it's from H&M and this bleh, I think was $29.99 which is not bad for a blazer because I went to Zara and um, I was looking around for one, and I saw one, and it was really nice. It fitted really nicely, but it was like £50, and I was just like, I think um, I'd rather go somewhere else than get a blazer. Um, next thing I got from Zara. Uh, I got this a couple of days ago for my holiday. I think I might be wearing this to the airport as well. It's just a basic orange vest. I don't know why the colour's not really... Okay. It looks like a horrible orange yellow in the camera, but it's actually kind of like a nice, vibrant orange. Um, and yeah, this is very loose. Um, the fitting on me, I love it. Um, it's kind of like... Uh, kind of like longer at the front. At the sides, it comes in, and then at the back, it goes long again. And um, yeah, this was $9.99 from Zara, and they have it, I think, in black, white, and grey as well, I think. So if I go into town on Saturday, I might grab more of that for my holiday, because it's perfect. It's, it's going to be boiling. Um, another item that I got is a Topshop boyfriend coat. It's like this. Um, it has like a leather collar. Um, I got this actually from eBay. Um, I just typed in Topshop and I was just looking, scrolling down and um, someone was selling this. And um, yeah, I was very lucky to have won it. Um, and because I've been looking for a boyfriend coat for 
since last year and then I recently saw one which is like that in Topshop uh, for like £89 or something like that and like I don't know I didn't really want to pay £90 for a coat um, so I just went on eBay and I found one similar and I'm very happy with that one it fits me like like a glove and um, yeah many of you guys saw me on Instagram wearing this and it's just a great piece to kind of like throw on any over anything um, it's not that thick so it doesn't really keep you warm but if you kind of like wear like a either long sleeve tee or a cardigan underneath it I guess then it would be fine to use as winter um, my other form of clothing is that I recently bought I think it's in a wash um, oh yeah um, this top uh, from Topshop it's just a basic kind of like silk like high neck top uh, I think this was £25 um, yeah that's all for the clothing um, so next will be kind of like accessories um, so yeah first of all uh, this necklace I got this from Accessorize uh, a couple days ago while I was waiting for my bus I thought I'd pop in and just check out their stuff um, this was six pounds. Uh, uh, also got some three pairs of sunnies to show you guys. I bought all of these for holiday. So first one is uh, glitter cat eye sunnies, and these are from Primark, and they were like two pound fifty, I think, which I thought was great because I was eyeing some similar ones. Um, from ASOS a while ago and I don't know I just didn't fancy paying like £12 for them um, another pair I got are these just black ones from Primark and they have like little skeleton heads on them which I thought was really cute and it's just kind of looks a bit weird over my glasses but get the point um, and then these ones, which a lot of you have been asking me, um, I won these on eBay and they are like, they have like a blue tint to them and um, yeah, they kind of like remind me of like bug's eyes. So these I actually won on eBay for a pound. Um, I just typed in sunglasses and these popped up and um, yeah, the delivery was really quick. So I was very happy with these and those are like my favourite sunglasses at the moment. Um, next is, I bought like a set of, I think, 10 or 12, like little rings like this, and it's a mix pack, um, the rest are in my ring bowl, Ugh. and um, yeah, I just, I just like kind of like pair them up and put them on whenever I go out now, and it's just so my fingers don't feel naked, and they were like three or four pounds from H&M I think for like a big pack uh, size is extra small to small um, another pair of like of really cool rings I bought from H&M i take these off are uh, my dinosaur one which I thought was really cool my boyfriend actually spotted these for me and it's a double finger ring and it's just so cool and I love dinosaurs so I couldn't say no to that and then another one is just a basic stone ring which is gorgeous it's from H&M as well and I think it was like three pounds um, next I guess move on to like kind of beauty products um, I don't really buy a lot of beauty products I guess the most that I normally buy is nail varnishes so we'll start off with those um, I needed a uh, top coat for a long time so I just went and picked one up from Miss Sporty uh, picked uh, Barium nail paint in Jelly High Shine in like, navy um, this is in well actually it's called Blackberry even though it's not a blackberry colour, it's a navy colour and yeah it just 
it goes on my nails really smoothly and I only need to do one coat. Um, another one I picked up was the Barium Ruby Glitter. I thought it was going to be really compact and um, like, I don't know, just like, yeah, kind of compact together when you put it on your nails, but they're not. It's kind of like a top glitter overcoat and I don't really use it, but I might find some time to use it. Another one I picked up uh, probably a month ago is a nail polish from H&M and it's in holographic. Oh wait, no it's not. It's in, Joe is in the house and it's, yeah, it's holographic kind of effect. I normally wear this kind of like my long clear fake nails and it just looks so gorgeous. Um, also went and bought a uh, Lush bubblegum lip scrub and uh, my friend introduced me to this like we were on a train to London and she was like have you tried this stuff and I was like what is that like it looks really interesting and then she was just like yeah you put it on your lips you scrub it and um, you just lick it off and I was like okay um, so yeah I did that and then I was, thought the product was like really cool and I went and bought one I think it was like £5.95 or something it's quite pricey but you could probably make this at home but it really does smell of bubblegum and it's like really cool yeah I got that I went I tried to uh, go look for a brown kit like I think uh, last weekend and every single brown kit was sold out except for this one from Accessorize and it was on sale from like five something to three pound ninety five and I was like okay I might as well try it this is the only like brow kit I have or I can find and it just looks like that it did come with a pair of tweezers but it's somewhere like oh wait over there and um yeah it comes it is uh it comes with tweezers shade fixing gel and highlighter um it's okay it's not like the best brow kit I guess but I, st I mean I still use my um, eyebrow pencil um, yeah it's okay I mean I guess if you're starting out using an eyebrow kit get one of these I guess it's just a little one just chuck it in your makeup bag and you're always trying to have a little eyebrow kit with you um, these two um, I bought the VO5 Give Me Texture Dry Texturizing Spray. Um, this, um, I normally put this on like after I blow dry my hair, um, because I don't like my hair to be like, because when I dry my hair, it goes straight and flat. So I need just a little bit of volume and texture. So I spray this on. It works all right, I guess. Um. I don't know. I mean, it's okay. It has sea salt in it, which is good because my hair loves sea salt. Uh, I also brought the Tresemme Freeze Hold hairspray, which is my favourite hairspray ever. Um, it smells rather lovely, and it like because it's a freeze hold, it literally like holds your hair perfectly all day. And um, I think I bought like a mini tester bottle about a year ago and then yeah I've just been in love with it ever since best hairspray ever looks like these um yeah another thing that I got uh, I think last week um yeah my because I have a thing with candles like there's loads of candles burning already on my windowsill and um yeah uh, my boyfriend also knows that I love skulls and um, we were looking at like this big uh, skull candle head um, in House of Fraser but it was like 30 something pounds and I was like I don't really want to pay 30 pounds for that so um, yeah he surprised me and got me like a little one I have no idea where he got it from because he won't really tell me he says House of Fraser but I have no idea so it might be in house Fraser. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute. I really don't want to light it because I don't want it like 
ruined. <laughs> so I don't know, I think I just keep it on like my side table. Well, my side like little plate. Um, oh yeah, ah, I forgot. Uh, three weeks ago now I think um, I went shopping with my mummy and um, yeah, she very kindly bought me a Michael Kors watch because my old watch that I got from eBay, the Casio one, it kind of like went mouldy and it was broken anyway and I couldn't fix the time. So um, yeah, she got me a lovely Michael Kors watch. Which I hope that you see that. And um, I don't know what the name of this one is called. Um, yeah, I have no idea. But um, yeah, I'm very grateful for this watch and I wear this like every day. Um, well, I did wear it this morning and I took it off. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of like all that I have for you guys at the moment. Um, I The rest of the stuff, like I said, is either in my suitcase or in the wash. So um, yeah, I'll probably do another haul after I come back from holiday because... I know that I will be buying quite a few things, um, but yeah. Okay, thank you for watching guys, I'm gonna go and carry on packing now, and I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and um, I will see you guys soon.